you know this situation. <laughs> so desperate is Lindile Hezane for a toilet of his own that he's decided to dig one himself. The council has abandoned us. We voted for them. Now it's as if they don't care about us. The council is not working, so we have to do things on our own. Hezani is one of many residents faced with overflowing toilets. The bucket system is still functional in Guguletu. This is their cabinet. You just put it here, then you can sit. Then when you take out to the freeway or to where the truck is, you're going to take it out this one and carry this one. But because of a labor dispute involving the waste removal contractor, the toilets were last emptied three months ago. The city of Cape Town says it's afraid to send in temporary workers following a recent attack on its staff by community in a nearby informal settlement. The timing couldn't be worse for the city. The Human Rights Commission is on a countrywide mission to investigate whether people's sanitation options violate their human rights. Just in terms of both the indignity in which people have to live, but also the serious health implications involved in the unservicing of the toilets and the fact that people have to actually empty these buckets themselves. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to carry 25 litres of waste with an open bucket maybe for five, six hundred kilometres to the nearest place where you can dump it or if you are dumping it in your backyard. The city of Cape Town says it's bettering the lives of people by introducing the controversial portable flushing toilets. But many residents say they don't want them because the system will still have to be emptied manually. News that moves. ENCA.com.